rain overnight and into early this morning. Pollen count will be a little bit lower. It'll climb a bit on Tuesday and then with more rain coming in, more widespread rain Tuesday night into Wednesday. Pollen count will drop again on a Wednesday, but then we should start to dry out toward the end of the week. So some lingering rain, mainly in the eastern counties. First thing this morning, I really think by the mid morning hours, though, temperatures will be in the mid to upper 60s. Lots of clouds around, but most of the rain will have moved out of the area by then. And you can see our rain chances again. This is really for uh, kind of first thing this morning. There may be a, a passing shower with thunder shower for some of the southern counties as we head into this afternoon. But overall, many of us are we're going to see a lot of dry hours in the day today, so not a lot of rain expected during the, the daylight hours today. On Tuesday, there'll be a few showers or thunderstorms around during the day, but a better chance for widespread showers and storms arriving Tuesday night into early on Wednesday, and then drier weather moves in again for the end of the week, and it looks like should hold through at least a good portion of the weekend. And you can see right now visibility is good in Birmingham. We've obviously got a lot of clouds around, some low 60s in, uh, in the metro area, and there's a look at WVTM 13 live Doppler and still some showers around, especially up near Weiss Lake and Center, and then a few spotty showers into parts of Calhoun County too, Clay County, and even a lot of the other rain starting to make its way out of Coosa County as well. So we're starting to uh, to see that drying trend in a lot of locations. 66 at 9, some low 70s by noon today, and we should climb into the upper 70s. We'll keep the clouds around and at least the uh, the chance for a passing shower or thunderstorm, especially for some of our southern counties as we head through the day today, but it also looks like the future cast kind of indicates some clearing as we head into the afternoon hours in some spots. Daybreak tomorrow, I can't rule out a few showers or at least a passing thunderstorm during the morning and then again really during the afternoon too, but once we get into Tuesday evening and Tuesday night, more widespread showers and thunderstorms look to, uh, to arrive across the, the area. So upper 70s today. I think we'll have some mid, maybe upper 70s on Tuesday, depending on just how much rain we get during the day. But again, the, the kind of the next widespread chance for showers and storms arriving Tuesday night into Wednesday, drying out for the end of the week, some sunshine, temperatures climbing a little bit too over the weekend. Back to you.